Oh, what's going on? Shout out to all the people who bought training and shout out to all the people who support the channel. Today, I was on the internet and I came across the legitimate, in my opinion, the only legitimate crypto billionaire, Sam Bankman Freed, who lost 94% of his wealth in one day. Here's the story. With the overall crash of the crypto market, he went from 22 billion to 15 billion recently. And then with the collapse of his crypto exchange, FTX, he went from 15 billion to argumentably 1 billion to 800 million. So by any stretch of the imagination, he is still fantastically wealthy. He's not going to be going clipping coupons anytime soon. However, as with my earlier video, there has been a lot that's been going on in the crypto markets. There is one guy, Carl Renfield, who claimed to be a billionaire from crypto. Yet, once again, in my opinion, the legitimate crypto billionaire, Sam Bankman Freed, is at the moment probably not a billionaire. And this guy had verifiable wealth, whereas Carl, eh, it's not verifiable. I don't care what he shows you, but this should be a lesson to everyone who <clears throat> aspires to get wealthy through cryptocurrency. Um, it's not durable. Mark Zuckerberg lost even more money from the plunging of his Facebook stocks. However, the fortunes of the crypto millionaires are currently in jeopardy. And Lucky Lopez at Automotive Life has talked about the number of these people who had to turn in their exotic cars or sell them because they can no longer afford them. This is what I've been saying. And this is my thesis. If you're an average American making 30 to $40,000 a year, you would be better served by starting a small business than investing in the stock market or investing in cryptocurrency. Now, if you diligently and consistently invest in the stock market over a period of 30 to 50 years, you can become rich. It's possible. But the reality is the average person doesn't have enough disposable income to become wealthy through investing, even in the long haul. Um, Irish Journey did a video and they got a question and the girl wanted to retire in 10 years and they actually gave her some honest math. She was going to need to <laughs> invest $6,300 per month for the next 10 years. All right. A 70 something thousand dollars a year at a average return rate of 7% or no at, at 10%. It was 10%. So the chances of this young lady, unless she starts a business that gives her the capital to make those type of investments, but she's just not going to get those type of investments unless she has a multiple six figure job. This is a job that pays two, three, four, five hundred thousand a year. So based upon her question, because they let her voice play on the voicemail, I don't think this girl has the aptitude for those type of jobs. But once again, let this be a cautionary tale to you. Sure. You could get rich with crypto in the case of the Dogecoin millionaire who's no longer a millionaire. 
there's a reoccurring theme here. It's like these people get all this money from crypto, and then crypto is like my boy, inflation. Crypto is like Debo. It's like, yeah, you rich today. Tomorrow, not so much. And this dude lost $21 billion recently. Yet, most again, shout out to the people who support the channel. There were people in the comments who was like, you called it. And then there was some weak, moist little men. And they were talking about, well, it went down, but it's going to go right back up. I want you to understand something. And if you're over 40 or 50 years old, I want you to, I want to, I want you to answer this question. What were the largest companies in America when you were a kid? G, um, certain companies, right? They no longer are the largest companies. Do you understand that there were some stocks that never came back? Go ahead, Google it. There's a bunch of stocks that never come back. So this um, notion that all these stocks are gonna bounce back and keep growing, it's not necessarily true from a historical perspective because 20 years from now, we're going to have a bunch of new companies. We're going to have, I would be surprised at who's still standing 20 years from now. So once again, you can invest, you can put your money in there. I was talking to a guy the other day. He was like, he made so much money doing uh, COVID. And he never actually spoke in dollar amounts. He said, I was getting 30% on my money. And I'm not going to um, mock this man because we had an intelligent conversation. But this is one of the things I consistently see. The percentages. I never see real money. But look at this as a cautionary tale. Uh, there is a good chance that crypto may not bounce back. I know crypto isn't a stock and crypto is supposed to be immune from all that, but pretty funny how crypto is down. Bitcoin is crashed. Interest rates keep going up. My boy inflation out there running amok. And there are still people who believe in this made up currency that someone made up in their basement as some safe haven asset. Time will tell. As in the case of Sam Bankman Freed, who lost 21 Billy in a matter of a few weeks.